A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. Uh, that thing's too far away. I'm going to eat it before I get there. Basically, yeah, uh, we went, we kept going over here and we got to like just random POIs. There's another radiated junkery over there and there's another radi a radiated POI over there. This one over here is also a massive, massive POI. So that's going to be insane to clear out. I want to keep on going over here, but our food and drink's really low. So I wonder if I should just do the tier 3 clear first. I mean, it's a tier 4 quest, but it's a tier 3 POI. Okay, I wonder when we're going to start getting like big bosses and stuff during daytime. Apparently at 150 game stage, we start getting Nemesis zombies. And one and 300 during the, the daytime, we get them. The only problem is, I think because of warrior difficulty, that is a little bit different. Because I mean, we're already getting bosses and Nemesis zombies and stuff, so... I feel like that's actually already dangerous, right? That's already... I think they're the Night Terrors. I don't know if they are Night Terrors, but I feel like bosses and Nemesis zombies are Night Terrors. I can't remember there being any other zombies when I did, like, the update video. Although, if they were, then I missed something with my update video. Okay, we have to be careful. It's going to be in the city over here. With our food and drink very low, our stamina is also going to run out really fast. So if I can just stealth this, that'd be amazing, but we don't have any crossbow. Ooh, that's another thing. I only have 17 shots left. Also have to be careful. Sometimes there's dogs in the parking lot over here. Okay, it seems quiet enough. Wait, what? It says it's a tier 4, but now it says tier 3. At the trailer, it said IV, so it's a quest 4. I'm so confused with all of these markers. That ATM, hello, hello, hello. I need to kill one zombie so I can see where the rest of the zombies are. Um. It's a clear areas quest, so the fact that no red showed up just now when I'm killing him means there's no red left downstairs. We'll loot after, but also lockpick this thing after. With my bad luck, yeah, that's not going to work that well. I want to be as stealthy as possible right now, if possible. Seems all the dots are this side. That's a red dot from inside. Hello. She has a t-shirt on, but it's a, it's a wet t-shirt competition, it seems. There's another one over there. Yeah, that's definitely a t-shirt, guys, but it's just a, uh, just ignore the fact that it's a little bit pointy. She was cold when she died. <laughs> okay, we're gonna loot this place, like I said, after. For now, we have to focus on just clearing the place safely. I'm hoping there's no wandering ward coming through right now. Where are you? I don't know if the zombie's on the other side or if it's on this side. It sounds like it went inside just now. I don't want outside zombies interfering right now because they're just gonna call or cause more havoc. We're stuck behind something just now, it seems. Are you fast? Are you fast? Are you fast? No. Nope. make sure I get those bolts back. We only have so many to work with at the moment. Eight areas left. Not too bad. It seems it definitely got inside. Did it? It's definitely outside trying to get in, but for some reason it's really struggling to get it to me. To be careful of these toilets. If there's a feral cop or something all of a sudden inside, we're so screwed. Okay, so technically you can smoothie, we can use that. Now I just need food. Only 14 shots left. I could technically go and find that shot that I just missed. But it might be a little bit dangerous or hard to find. I also probably should also go and just make sure this is reloaded. I'll turn the light off. Just sneak, 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 sneak. I'm not a fan of how late some of the zombies sometimes spawn in. You think you're safe and all of a sudden it spawns in really late. 
Seven areas left, so there's nothing left of here. But once again, we have to try and get those arrows back. Hopefully the safes will actually have something really good in them. But I'm also looking for the, the Forge Ahead box. Because that T8 storage, guys, if we can make this, it's going to be epic. 11 books away. Unfortunately, we don't have the schematic workstation yet. Because of that, we might have been able to at least go and get the rest. We might have been able to make our own. We have so many blue notes that I've been saving up and saving up. They're very, 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 very quiet. Six areas left. Outside zombies just keep getting in the way. That red dot's moving. Please don't be feral. Please don't be feral. You're fast. Oh, no, you're not fast. You just look fast. Guys, I love this boat. Oh, I'm not even using the mon that I got. The level 500. I put that away and I never used it. I can put two mods on the level 500, so I should probably go and do that. Also, I'm going to keep wrenching these and see if I can get some more propane tanks. Imagine if I can get lucky and find way more. Let me make sure the downstairs zombies don't bother me right now. It's probably going to be a vulture or something over here as well. We have to be careful because our food's so low. We can't really fight at this stage. Our stamina's going to run out way too fast. At least it seems like the outside zombies are mostly just not, uh, slow. They're not really fast or anything. So if we can just get away with this, it'd be awesome. Why are the infested quests so horrid? But these normal tier 4 fetch and clears and stuff, they're not that bad. A level 2 super and ultra infested. I can't do them. They're just too many radiators. But doing this quest. This is a tier 4 quest in a tier 3 POI. And there's almost no zombies inside. These are actually easy enough to do. But those tier 2 super and ultra infested have so many radiated zombies. It's insane. Hopefully you try and go through the door. and Don't follow me all the way up. It says four areas left. I think at the bottom of here is going to be very dangerous. We have to be very, very careful. Crouch. Turn the lights off. Yeah, this bottom part's a dangerous part, so we might have to run away. The footsteps upstairs, though, that's going to bother the hell out of me. Okay, three areas left. My room is so hot already and I'm stressing, so I'm sweating my ass off right now. Ooh, this is stressful. You just know the last room is going to be dangerous. Also, I have to be careful over here. They can crawl through that. It doesn't look like much, but that's a hole. They can get through that. This is feral. Two areas left. The last area is going to be a major pain. Are you actually coming down the ladder right now, lady? I hope not. I need to be so bloody careful right now. I want to get all the resources on my way out too. Okay, there's a radiator dude over there. It is just him. Was that him just now? That looked like he vomited straight at me. That is dangerous. One area left. They're right above me, but it almost sounds like it's in here with me. Are they in here with me? Sounds like it. 
Okay, that's the only problem sometimes. The sound's so loud. The zombies that are above you sound like they're right next to you. Please, 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 please be doable right now. I need to close off this section over here. I'm actually placing a frame down. That's a lot of dots. If they're feral, we have a problem. Yep, they're feral. Okay, do we have a Molotov? Yes, we do. Um, I might be burning down my final stash right now, but that's fine. Okay, the radiator's dead. Do this, do this. The stress, man, the stress. It's a lot of stress. Okay, now we just have to loot this place. Ooh, what was that? What was that? What was that? That this is automatics, athletics. That one scrap. All those shots just now called in a lot of attention to ourselves. Repair tools. We have to be really, really careful right now as well. Probably first grab the final stash and then move back up. But yeah, we're gonna go through that door anyway, so we can go from this side. Okay. No landmines or anything, please. Imagine. Just imagine. Ooh, okay. So now we put this on. We can go up a ladder to the right over here, but I'm gonna backtrack because I still have to clear this whole place out. Although we could just go through the place again from scratch. Now I have to open this up. Please tell me you can open up this container over here. Awesome. Okay, so it was just... I think it failed once. And then that's it. So... <laughs> That's lucky. Ooh, and more lockpicks. It's like it heard me complaining about the fact that we're losing so many lockpicks. I could put a point into lockpicking and then do the... I don't know if I should, though. The thing is, if I go into lockpicking, uh, we'll be able to make our own lockpicks and we don't have to worry about this, but it's still going to be expensive to make. Rifles, pistols, cooking, and scrap. Scrap. It's still going to be super expensive to make because it's like one forged iron and mechanical pot. Salvage tools. You'll be able to make it, and yeah, then you just wasted and wasted and wasted blades. Just, just in case, zombie survival guide. Is that zombie coming down? So we can go up over here. I think I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna drop some stuff on my bike, and then we can go through the place again from scratch. It's almost nighttime though. I need to go mining again. Oh, look at that! Just sleeping over there. I need to go mining again as well. Let's see, let's see. Uh, we're gonna sell that. Scrap, scrap that on, put those away. Technically, I'm gonna sell that. Propane tank? Yes, thank you. I can't believe we find a propane tank that easily. From all the comments that I saw on Discord, I, th I thought we were gonna really struggle finding it, but nope. It's easy enough. Okay, we still have to lockpick this quickly. We have to quickly get this. And be careful, there's gonna be that zombie coming in right now. But there might be even more threats that we don't see at the moment. If I could just really clear this place out, we have to make sure every single POI that we uh, do, we just clear out completely. You never know when you're going to need like, duct tape and glue and stuff like that. Even the toilets, we need normal murky water. And at the moment, we can't make any um, jars. So this is the only way for us to do it right now. Ooh, another 1,200. Nice. We have a problem. I hear footsteps, which means there's a feral uh, wandering horde coming through. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It sounds like the inside. Uh, read that. We are encumbered right now at the moment as well, so that's a problem. Um, steroids. There's a lot of noise outside, so it's definitely a wandering horde. Uh, uh, these footsteps sounded so much faster just now. Yeah, that's a lot of noise. That's definitely a wandering ward coming through. I need to be able to jump down over here to get to safety. But if I jump right now, I might just break my legs. If I can jump onto like a windowsill over here. If I can jump onto a windowsill, that might actually help. 
It might have been a wandering ward, might not, but I'm not going to take a chance right now. Quest is done, so let's go. I wanted to get those containers as well, those um, newsstands. But a lot of these newsstands, like these ones over here. Oh, hello, hello, hello. A lot of the newsstands are just empty or they only have like newspapers or novels and stuff. Very few of them actually have schematics. Man, that one wall safe almost wiped out all of my lockpicks just now while they were coming upstairs. So I'm really hoping we can lockpick this one with the six that we have left. We need all the cash we can find so that when we find more traders, we can just buy the books we need. Come on, please. Three left, two left. Come on, come on. Come on, damn it. I really wish there was a modlet for uh, manual lockpicking. I'd immediately install it with a within a heartbeat. If a modder wants to win me over, just include, uh, include manual lockpicking option in your mod. That's it. Because automatic lockpicking just fails way too easily. Even if you sometimes spec like super high into your lockpicking skill, doesn't matter. Doesn't help at all. Ooh, there's a lot of zombies over here. Okay, can I dump some stuff on you? Oh, we only have one space left. I think that might have been part of a wandering ward as well just now. Okay, so I'm going to drop this on the floor. You've made my uh, we're going to go for the steel and then let's go for ammo. I mean, I, we do need better knives. Uh, we do have a hunting knife anyways. So I just need to carry that around for skinning animals. Jobs, tier 4. Lespank. What's Lespank? <laughs> we'll try all of these actually. Taylor Manor. I think might be good. Okay, and then you don't have anything I can actually buy from you, right? I already bought everything and you're not going to reset until day 36. That's after Horde Night. That's still so far away. I think it's like day... What day is it right now? I have no idea what day it is. It might actually be Horde Day. Thanks anyways. You be careful out there. I imagine it is Horde Night, but it's, it's not red, so it shouldn't be. Yeah, I thought it's like... Oh, it's already day 30 something. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we should technically soon have a Horde Night. I thought it was going to be super far away. That's why I kept driving. But that might have been a massive mistake. I, I imagine I'm out and about driving. All of a sudden we have a horde night. And I haven't repaired the base. Haven't done anything at the base yet. Okay. Anyways. Food, drink, all that stuff. No, thank you. Hazmat jacket. I need a hazmat headpiece. And also, I wonder if I shouldn't buy more appliances. I think the appliances you can use for other stuff. Uh, not just the fridge. For another workbench as well. Although, I'm going to save that for now. We need workstation books. I wonder if I shouldn't work on my base. But if I break it right now, the zombies are going to go, whoops, hello. Basically, what I want to do is I want to break that block and that block. I want to break the pillars down below, but now the zombies are on the way. I could easily just break the, the block underneath the stuff carrying it. But I have to break it there first because I don't want that dropping. I want that to continue going. Although that's concrete. That's concrete. That's concrete. I'll have to put a pillar in somewhere. I wonder if I were to go and break that, and I went to go and break that. Like those two over there. Um, would that cave in? It shouldn't, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, that's a max distance. Especially with that block missing over there, it's gonna, not going to work. Okay, so what I'm going to do instead then, yeah, let's just go and drive around. We have to be careful of bosses spawning at night. We have to go drive around a bit to see if we can find more stuff. We have to be careful though, because now that we can find bosses at night time... Driving is going to be that much more dangerous. So make sure I fill up on food and water before we leave as well. It's so much more visible if you're just turning the fog off. Even with the rain and over overcast still, it's uh, it's still dark, it's still creepy. Uh, but at least with the mining helmet, you can now see in front of you. Also, I was just thinking about what we just like procure, uh, procured in the last few episodes, like the propane tank and stuff. And I realized I never put the propane tank inside the container. I need to go actually do, uh, do that. You put it inside into the recycler and you can actually get iron and stuff out. So now I don't have to go mining for iron anymore because we'll be able to get it out anyways. What's that? Journey's end. Some of these POIs might actually be really awesome to loot. But for now, our goal needs to be the desert. If we can actually finally find the desert, we can actually solve our fuel issue. Every now and then we run out of fuel and I'm like, oh crap. Did you just... Oh, he just looked left and right and he dodged the arrow. Damn. See, that blue dude over there might have come and said, like, hmm. 
Okay, now that we don't have... It's six meat. So with the fire axe, we, uh, we got four meat. And with that, just now we got six meat. That's not really that worth it, is it? I thought it was going to be way, way, way more meat if you use the right uh, knife. Oh, this one's a bit steep. Imagine we were using the mini bike right now to climb this. It is super, super steep over here. Getting down, I'd have to be really, really careful if this leads to a dead end. If I have to turn around and I have to go down the same path, we're going to fall off this mountain. Every time it uh, seems like it, uh, it goes super, super far, I'm like, oh yeah, it has to lead somewhere. But I see water in the distance. That means we are almost at the edge of the map. So I'm definitely going to have to go either east. I think west. We are very, very far west at the moment. Oh, no, we are very far east. We have to go west. Yeah, it seems we're going to have to go a different direction because this is basically the edge of the map right now. The fact that we can see the water, that is... Uh, you can actually choose whether you want the edge of the map to be like radiated or whatever. And this... Yep. Oh, ooh, ooh, I see, I see, I see. Hello, stag or deer or whatever. I'm going to leave you for now. Imagine doing all of this in a minibike. See, there's this in the middle of this place. There's, I've noticed there's three different kinds of these. There's basically this one that's completely unbroken. If you go down the middle, you'll be able to get some oil shale. Or just some. There's one that's completely broken. That's the one we've mostly been getting. And there's another one that's slightly broken with some oil shale in the floor that you can actually dig up. That's the one we need right now. Okay, so this is a new town. If I can find a trader, let's go around the outskirts of this place. If I can find a trader right now and just buy the stuff we need, I need those two eight storages. Oof! I evaporated that zombie just now. Damn! Oh no! She knocked me off my bike and- No! No, 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 no! That was messed up! She knocked me off my bike and then my bike actually pushed me down. Wait, I think this is the one that I had the Wandering Horde. I think we already found this town. What I need to do is quickly just jump up. Do that, do that. Oh, now I need that Molotov. They're stacking so nicely over there. Unfortunately, we used the Molotov. Yeah, we've already been here. No. <laughs> Although, I did see... Was it to that side over there? When we got down the hill just now, we saw in the distance... Desert, so that's north. Yeah, okay, I was wondering why there's so many zombies here. And I remember, there was a town that we passed that had a ton of uh, Wandering Horde. Yeah, and if only we had some Molotovs right now, this would be awesome. The only problem is it seems the zombies can just touch you and then you fall off your bike. And it can be any zombie. It doesn't have to be a boss zombie. It doesn't have to be a crit. As long as it just graze you, you jump off the bike. And when I jumped off, my bike fell on me just now, so I completely fell. They could easily have swarmed me just now and killed me before I even realized what was going on. I can't believe we were this close to the desert the whole time. It was just to the north. Now I have to find a town, and then I have to find a road that leads outside the town. Before we go over there. Repair. Repair. Ooh, we don't have repair kits left. Oh, no. Okay, so fuel is kind of maxed, but we, I don't... Yeah, we don't, we're out of fuel, and we're out of repair kits. So I need to stop hitting stuff. At least there's less to hit in this biome, but there are still things to hit. Oh, there's a few big buildings over here. Is this one over here? This one looks like a prison. And then there's one to the right as well. Oh, see, I mustn't hit stuff like that. Small things like that in the end can actually end up breaking your vehicle really fast. I think that's a town in the distance. Over there, please don't go into a hole. Ooh, this bank is also in here. Okay, drink. We need a yucca smoothie. Oh, we already had one. What did I do? Bucks den. Damn, I shouldn't have bought that Yucca smoothie just now. At least we finally found the desert, so we just have to come and dig over here. Yeah, this place is going to be dangerous, so we have to be careful. This just seems like a small Wild West town, so we have to find a big, big, big town. One that actually has a trader, and then we can actually go and talk to. Although this town, even though it's Wild West, might actually have a trader. Yep, it's a big one, so it might definitely have one. It's going to be on the other side in the corner, I think. I just realized I'm passing POIs, like this metal works over here. If I'm not mistaken, it actually has workstations inside. There's a specific one especially that I'm looking for. If I can find that, come on. Give me the book, give me the book, give me the book. Damn it. 
Yeah, there's a POI almost like this one that has like a few workstations and stuff. Even if it's just a cement mixer. If we can find some, we'll be able to perhaps go and get the books we need. Nine or so more books, and we'll finally be able to make ourselves a tier 8 storage. I think it's this one. Spit seeds. Yeah, it's this one. There's a workbench here. There's a workbench on top. Although, it's not just because it's there doesn't mean we're actually going to get it. We'll be able to jump out the top window, so that's why I'm just taking a chance right now. Come on, 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 come on. Yes, one book. Oh, nope, bye-bye. Okay, so we at least got one book. <laughs> but that place is way too dangerous. I don't want to face any feral radiators right now. If I can buy from the trader, that'll already be awesome. Ooh, that looks interesting. Shotgun POI. What is that? It even looks like it has a helipad on top. I don't remember that POI. It's probably going to be too dangerous to clear as well, but I want to get a nice view of the front so I can see what this is. See, there's a massive helipad up top. Okay, not going to attempt that right now, but that's an awesome building. Also, this Smitty McGee's over here, this is what I used in Wild West mod as a base, this place over here. That's really cool. Okay, anyways, let me just quickly find that trader. I'm just driving all over the place now in hopes that I find one. I really need those books. If the trader can give me like four or five books, even if I have to use all my cash, that's fine. I'm desperate, man. I'm desperate. I should probably also be grabbing all the fuel cans and stuff that I pass. You never know when you're going to run out of fuel and you really need it. Although my biggest attention right now is just towards the books and the trader. Damn it. Unfortunately, it seems there is no trader in this town. There's more in the back. Oh, the okay. So we have to go west, northwest. I'm going to check this quickly over here. There's a lot of this POI in this place. Not bad. Not bad. T8. Ten more books. That's all we need. Ten more books. We'll finally be able to make the best storage in the game. This building, the same one we did earlier, where we just ran up top, got the one thing, and then ran back down again. But it's super dangerous doing this. Ooh, especially with the blue dudes right here. I could easily just jump up and do it, but it's, this is taking a chance. If there's a ton of ferals us. Oopsie, yep, nope, 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 bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Uh, where's my bike? Okay, so we have to go over there. There seems to be another city over there. And there's a massive... Oh yeah, we're right past the prison. It doesn't seem like there's a road that leads into this town at all. It's a true Wild West uh, POI, or town it seems. There's no road access. Damn. Unfortunately, it seems all of these POIs over here are just radiated buildings. Or irradiated. Oh, I see the snow. It might be a town to... Yeah, we're going to have to go over there, I think, for another town. These, they're radiated, but some of them just so, show so little smoke. You don't see it's irradiated until it's super late. Although this one doesn't seem irradiated. What is this place? There's a building over there, and then we have to go to the snow biome as well. See, all of these are just separate buildings on their own. If I can find the same shopping center that TBF Gaming used, that place is awesome. We could basically make a whole base there. And there's a few uh, actual asphalt roads that I've seen so far. I think so far I've only basically seen gravel roads around us. Okay, that's unfortunate. It seems all of the POIs, uh, well, everything over here was just like that small town and that's it. We should be able to potentially find more if we just keep exploring over there. But yeah, we need to get back to the base and actually do repairs and upgrade and stuff before Horde Night. Uh, for now though, I just want to see if there's a trade over here. This is a snow slash forest biome it seems. So there has to be a trade over here. Uh, I think there's a workstation Eric stuff over here. Ran the wrong way. But yeah, um, I want to make sure we can actually get all of the workstations and stuff we need. I think there's a chem station there. I think the final stash is here as well. Yes, we need nine more books. I just need to get all of these workstations like so. And then if we don't get a trader, we don't get a trader. But if we do, hopefully the trader can actually help us out a bit. 
So far, every single one of these pure eyes I've come across are so small, they basically have nothing to them. Oh, chem station. Hello, hello, hello. But be careful of any wolves. And I should probably run around like this. Just in case there is a wolf or something, we can just easily shoot them. It's just a shame that it seems that so few POIs actually have uh, the workbenches that we're looking for. They have workbenches, but if you try and loot them, there's nothing inside. I'm going to run into a lot of trouble doing this thing. As long as we're not encumbered, it should be fine. But damn, if I run into a feral radiated running up the stairs, we're screwed. Whoopsie, whoopsie, bye-bye. See, that's super dangerous. If there's any kind of feral or radiant or whatever and they smack the hell out of us, we won't be able to escape. Wait, this is the trader. I just realized that uh, when I saw this place, it looked a lot like uh, Wild West. I was like, yeah, the trader's supposed to be here. Now, hopefully there's no zombies over here and hopefully we get all the books we need. Imagine every single one of these workbenches now actually have the things we're looking for. The chance of that happening is rather low. Workbench. I see the workstation as well. Uh, the forge. Workbench over here. And then I wonder where's the cement mixer. Come on, man. We're so close. So unbelievably close. Ooh. This is a nice uh, hidden box over here. Cardboard box. In the shed on the top. I was looking for the, uh, the cement mixer, but I couldn't find it. Okay, so, don't need that, don't need that. I used up a lot of cash and fortune just now to get the um, extra drink, which was unnecessary. I forgot that I had a drink on me and I went and bought another drink. That was so dumb. Okay, please, dude, I am really begging you. Have some stuff that we need. Lockpicks, three. Ah, let's try. But yeah, if he actually has the three books or the, the like, nine books that we need, I know he's not going to have that many. That would be awesome. Well, after Horde Night, we can potentially make tier 8 storages if Gen and our trader resets. That's all we need. I should probably keep driving in a small town looking for more books as well. Because there's a few of these pure eyes we can just run in, grab it, run out. Okay, dude, I'm stealing you blind or robbing you blind in front of your face, but just please ignore me. Lawn Tractor, 28,000. Damn. Okay, so forge ahead, only one. Damn it. Ooh. Cobble. We don't have any cash that we can sell, right? Cobble, um... Gas, yeah. I mean, now that we have this biome, technically that's a waste. Cement is super hard to make. So if we can just get the cement this way, it'll save us so much time and effort. Nail gun, ooh. Hello, 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 hello. But now, yeah, now we don't have enough cash. Lawn tractor, that's cool. Okay, but yeah, we have to get back to the base and just do a little bit of repairs and stuff. I have no idea when the next horde's gonna be. I mean, there's still supposed to be a... Oh, okay, we have to go down. Um, hopefully I can actually get back down. I'll go to Jen's place over here and see if I can't go back that way. I'll go this way and see if there's any way out. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna try and see if I can't find myself a few more workstations. Because this over here just needs seven more. If we can find a few more workstations over here, that'd be awesome, but I don't think we will. Uh, I'm just going to call it here, guys. So I'm going to go back to the base, drop everything off, and then do some repairs if it is Horde Knight or not. Does this thing up here show Horde Knight? What, what night is it? What day is it? It doesn't really show anywhere. It just is restock day 36, but it doesn't tell you the time. And unfortunately, 3rd of February doesn't tell me anything. I have to go see the old video when the... Oh! When the last Horde Knight was and go from there. That scared the crap out of me. Anyways, if you guys liked this episode, please like it to your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, gain access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminace that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.